2020 Hyundai Santa Fe reviews. Like, share, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to ring the bell to update the latest videos from RadioReviewer.com. The Car Connection Expert Review. Likes. Handsome looks. Comfortable ride. High quality interior. Value of base model. Standard auto braking. Dislikes. But fewer standard safety features this year. Sluggish transmission. So so fuel economy. Lesser models have lesser interior trim. Buying tip. A fully loaded Santa Fe Limited is a convincing near luxury vehicle for less than $40,000. 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe specifications. Quick specs. Gas mileage, 20 miles per gallon city slash 26 miles per gallon highway. Engine, intercool turbo regular unleaded I4, 2.0 liters. EPA class, small sport utility vehicles 4WD. Style name, limited 2.0T auto AWD. Drive train, all wheel drive. Passenger capacity, 5. Passenger doors, 4. Body style, sport utility. Transmission, 8 speed automatic with Shiftronic Incorporated, manual shift mode. Dimensions. Vehicle. EPA classification, small sport utility vehicles 4WD. Weight information. Base curb weight, pounds, 4085. Interior dimensions. Passenger volume, FT cubed. 110.7 second headroom in 37.9 front shoulder room in 59.1 second hip room in 56.3 front headroom in 41.2 second leg room in 40.9 passenger capacity 5 front hip room in 57.5 Front leg room, in, 44.1. Second shoulder room, in, 58.3. Exterior dimensions. Length, overall, in, 187.8. Minute ground clearance, in, 7.3. Track width, front, in, 64.1. Width, max without mirrors, in, 74.4. Wheelbase, in, 108.9. Track width, rear, in, 64.5. Height, overall, in, 66.1. Cargo area dimensions. Cargo volume to seat 2, FT cubed, 35.9. Cargo volume to seat 3, FT cubed, 35.9. Cargo volume to seat 1, FT cubed. 71.3 fuel economy fuel tank fuel tank capacity the Brox gal 18.8 mileage epa fuel economy estate city mpg 20 epa fuel economy estate highway mpg 26 fuel economy estate combined mpg 22 performance specs engine Engine type, intercool turbo regular unleaded I-4. See net horsepower at RPM, 235 at 6000. Displacement, 2.0 liters slash 122. Engine order code, NA. See net torque at RPM, 260 at 1450. Fuel system, gasoline direct injection. Transmission. Trans order code, NA. Second gear ratio, colon 1, 2.90. Reverse ratio, colon 1, 3.42. Trans description con. Again, na. Fifth gear ratio, colon 1, 1 1.22. Eighth gear ratio, colon 1, 0 0.65. Trans type, 8. Third gear ratio, colon 1, 1 1.86. Final drive axle ratio, colon 1, 3.51. Drive train, all wheel. First gear ratio, 
colon 1, 4.81. Sixth gear ratio, colon 1, 1 1.00. Trans description cons, automatic with odd. Fourth gear ratio, colon 1, 1 1.42. Seventh gear ratio, colon 1, 0 0.80. Brakes. Brake ABS system, four wheel. Drum, rear, yes or, nah. Front brake rotor diamex thickness, in, 12.6. Disc, front, yes or, yes. Rear drum diamex width, in, nah. Brake type, four wheel disc. Rear brake rotor diamex thickness, in, 12. Disc, rear, yes or, yes. Steering. Turning diameter, curb to curb, foot, 37.5. Steering type, rack pinion. Tires. Rear tire order code, nah. Rear tire size, P235 55 HR19. Spare tire order code, nah. Front tire order code, nah. Spare tire size, compact. Front tire size, P235 55 HR19. Wheels. Rear wheel size, in, 19 by 7.5. Rear wheel material, aluminum. Spare wheel size, in, compact. Front wheel size, in, 19 by 7.5. Spare wheel material, steel. Front wheel material, aluminum. Suspension. Suspension type, rear, multi-link. Suspension type, front, cond, strut. Suspension type, front, strut. Suspension type, rear, cond, multi-link. Safety features. Safety. Airbag frontal driver, yes. Airbag frontal passenger, yes. Airbag passenger switch, on slash off, no. Airbag side body front, yes. Airbag side body rear, no. Airbag side head front, yes. Airbag side head rear, yes. Brakes ABS, yes. Child safety rear door locks, yes. Daytime running lights, yes. Traction control, yes. Night vision, no. Rollover protection bars, no. Fog lamps, yes. Parking aid, yes. Tire pressure monitor, yes. Backup camera, yes. Stability control, yes. Other features. Electronic stability control, escape. ABS and driveline traction control. Side impact beams. Dual stage driver and passenger seat mounted side airbags. Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, FCA. Lane Keep Assist, LKA, Lane Keeping Assist. Lane Keep Assist, LKA, Lane Departure Warning. Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, BCA, Blind Spot. Rear Parking Sensors. Tire Specific Low Tire Pressure Warning. Dual Stage Driver and Passenger Front Airbags. Curtain First and Second Row Airbags. Airbag Occupancy Sensor Rear Child Safety Locks Outboard Front Lap and Shoulder Safety Belts Incorporated Rear Center 3 Backup Camera Front Camera Left Side Camera Right Side Camera Warranty Basic Miles Slash KM 60,000 Basic Years 5 Corrosion Miles Slash KM Unlimited Corrosion years, 7. Drivetrain miles slash KM, 100,000. Drivetrain years, 10. Maintenance miles slash KM, 36,000. Maintenance years, 3. Roadside assistance miles slash KM, unlimited. Roadside assistance years, 5. Other specs. Electrical. Maximum alternator capacity, amps. 140. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe is a sure bet for safety, space, and swiftness. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe has finally found its niche. It floated between the compact and mid-size crossover SUV niche for years. 
with the latest Santa Fe, Hyundai has put the 2020 Santa Fe squarely in the midsize category, as it makes way for its three-row Palisade and its smaller Tucson. The 2020 Santa Fe has admirable fit and finish in top versions, competitive performance and styling, and excellent safety ratings. All come without sacrificing its trademark value. We give it a 7.0 out of 10. The 2020 Santa Fe carries over with minimal package and option shuffling, but strangely, some desirable active safety features like rear cross-traffic alert and automatic rear braking are no longer standard, now they're limited to the cell trim and above. Compared to the prior model, the long wheelbase version of which is still around as the Santa Fe XL, the new Santa Fe is sharper and more upscale. Borrowing the two-tiered headlight system from the rest of the lineup, it's altogether more boxy, more upright, and tougher looking than its predecessor. The interior is high quality as they come, with contrasting stitching, handy storage cubbies, and fine materials. A 2.4-liter inline-four comes standard, and adequately motivates the nearly 3,600-pound Santa Fe with 185 horsepower, but the optional 2.0-liter turbo 4 is much better suited to the task. An 8-speed automatic transmission provides smooth, if slow, shifts, and optional all-wheel drive can be had for $1,700 while front-wheel drive is standard. Thanks to a 3-inch longer wheelbase than the old 5-passenger model, the Santa Fe fits all occupants comfortably with plenty of cargo space behind the rear seats and storage cubbies throughout. Hyundai's trademark value is present here too, with 17-inch alloy wheels, a 7.0-inch infotainment screen with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and automatic emergency braking all standard for around $25,000 on the base SE model. The latest Santa Fe received a 5-star crash test rating from the federal government last year, as well as a top safety pick plus award from the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, styling. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe sports sharp sheet metal and a logical, high-quality cabin design. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe no longer looks like an also ran, with a distinctive style that's undeniably handsome. We give it 7 out of 10 for its sharp sheet metal and pleasant interior. A two-tier headlight system, taller proportions with a boxier roofline, and sharp detailing make the Santa Fe an attractive crossover. The trademark Hyundai grille looks better on its more upright front end, and even base models look the part with 17-inch alloys and as much chrome and plastic body cladding as top-tier examples. The interior is high quality and comparatively curvy, with a broad dashboard that wraps around both the driver and passenger separately. A 7.0-inch infotainment screen, 8.0-inch on higher priced models, is standard and sits front and center, while climate controls are easy to access and clear to read. Cloth upholstery is standard, and leather is optional but both the fabric and hides feel somewhat thin and flimsy. 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, Performance The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe handles predictably and rides smoothly, its base engine is just adequate. The base 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe has an uninspiring powertrain, while its Turbo 4 does a better job of generating enthusiasm. It's also blessed with a pliant ride, no matter which model's chosen. Based on the more popular versions with the lower output engine, we give it 6 out of 10 for performance. The Santa Fe comes standard with a 2.4-liter inline-four that makes 185 horsepower. While it's certainly not fast, this humble engine is adequate to get the Santa Fe moving. A 2.0-liter turbo 4 is available and makes 50 additional ponies for a total of 235 horsepower and is far superior to the base engine. Front wheel drive is standard and all wheel drive is optional on every trim level. An 8 speed automatic is the only gearbox option, it shifts with leisurely responses, even when it's toggled into a more sporty mode. The Santa Fe delights in ride quality, however, with an optional self leveling rear air suspension for calm rides and more confident towing ability. Handling is well managed if unexciting, and the steering is light for everyday use. 
2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, Comfort and Quality. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe can seat up to five adults in comfort, and surrounds them with plenty of cargo space. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe gained a few inches in length with its redesign last year, and the results are worth celebrating. We give it 8 out of 10 in this category as it easily seats 5 adults, and has the cargo space to double as an MPV when needed. In the last generation, the Santa Fe came in both short wheelbase, 5 passenger sport and 7 passenger standard form. The former is gone while the latter has been replaced by the new 2020 Palisade. The Santa Fe now is 5 passenger only. Got it? Good. Thankfully, an additional 2.8 inches of length and 2.6 inches between the axles makes for plenty more passenger and cargo space, with over 40 inches of legroom for rear occupants. The front seats are comfortable, even if the material feels a bit thin, and cushioning is ample. Hyundai offers a power lift gate, and with 36 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats, the load area is large and easily accessible. That figure balloons to 71 cubes with the rear seats folded flat, and with plenty of storage cubbies throughout, the Santa Fe is plenty practical for families. Material quality is generally top-notch across the range, including contrasting stitching, high-quality trim pieces, and good build quality, though some cut-rate materials are present. 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe – Safety the 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe earns excellent crash test scores, but loses some formerly standard active safety features this year. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe gets good crash test scores and includes automatic braking as standard. Unfortunately, while Hyundai has added optional safety features for this year, it's taken away a few that were standard on the 2019 model. We rate it 8 out of 10 here. This year, the Santa Fe is in its top safety pick award winner, and the 2020 model receives 5 stars overall from the federal government. Automatic emergency braking is standard, and Hyundai has added blind spot monitors on limited models, as well as rear occupant alert for the base SE and cell models. However, in a curious move, the Santa Fe no longer comes standard with the blind spot collision avoidance and rear cross traffic alert and automatic braking systems, as those features are moved to the cell trim and above, likely to save money. It's a step backward, but doesn't affect its strong crash test ratings. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe comes well equipped, and loads up its options list into the near luxury territory. As is the trademark Hyundai style, the 2020 Santa Fe is well equipped as standard and even near luxury at the top of the range. It scores 9 out of 10 here, with extra points for standard features, value, excellent warranty coverage, and good infotainment. For 2020, the Santa Fe loses the top tier ultimate trim and cell plus trim, limited models gain options and packages to make up the difference. The trims now stand at SE, Cell, and Limited, with the latter offering convenience and premium packages. The Santa Fe SE comes with cloth upholstery, 17-inch wheels, Bluetooth, a 7.0-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and automatic emergency braking, though not a few other active features as we mentioned in the section above. Also standard is Hyundai's excellent 5-year-60,000 mile bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, still an advantage over the competition. The cell adds heated front seats, a power driver seat, and keyless start. Option packages add features that include premium audio, leather upholstery, cooled front seats, and an 8.0-inch touchscreen. The top-tier limited trim includes leather upholstery, an 8.0-inch touchscreen, premium audio, heated and cooled front seats, heated rear seats, a surround view camera system, heated steering wheel, wireless cell phone charger, a head-up display, and automatic wipers. At nearly $40,000 fully loaded, it's not cheap, but the Santa Fe is a convincing near-luxury SUV for less than competitors. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe is reasonably fuel efficient for a mid-size SUV. The 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe manages an average fuel economy for a mid-size SUV. We give it 4 out of 10 here. 
base, 2.4 liter Santa Fe models manage 22 miles per gallon city, 29 highway, 25 combined while all wheel drive comes with a slight penalty, resulting in 21 slash 27 24ths of a mile per gallon, according to the EPA. The turbocharged 2.0 liter model makes 20 slash 27 23rds of a mile per gallon. The all-wheel drive version manages 20 slash 26 20 seconds of a mile per gallon, but does include 50 more horsepower over the base model. Thank you.